Hello, sweet souls. Happy Sunday, April 17th. This will be your full length reading on YouTube. Under Tasha's Divine Guidance, head over there when you're finished, watch the full length version. Um, also, if you're interested in checking out the Inspiration Company, they are running a promotion till April 30th for their natural stone bracelets with the inspirational quotes. They have men, women, and children. You can use my code Tasha's25 to get 25% off. So we're going to call on St. Michael. St. Michael, please return to sender. Anyone sending ill will through thought, word, or action toward myself or the viewer. And I think today I'm just going to ask the Holy Spirit for random messages and I'm going to use random decks. So I get a couple. from a couple. So on the um, angel answers, I got trust. Um, they're asking you to have faith, to trust, and to get more connected. Uh, meditation brings answers. This is you being more connected with the divine, trusting your intuition, and also work on forgiveness. If you need to forgive anyone, forgive and release. Um, let's see what comes up. With these. What do we need to know? So someone's having a perspective change. Um, this is someone that wants to come in and apologize. Um, temperance is about patient, but it's in reverse. So the time is here and now. This person is, re is realizing that um, you were their emotional fulfillment. So they're not happy. They're not happy, okay? So let's go on to another deck. Let's see what comes out of this deck. out of this deck. Wow. Okay, hold on a second. Yeah, this is crazy. We got the Ten of Swords. Someone is in deep regret. A lot of pain because they threw away their Ten of Pentacles. They threw away a stable foundation with someone that was abundant, that was the better option for them. the marriage or commitment of some sort that was thrown away and this person is in this ten of swords pain now you know they took no action we waited and waited for them to do the right thing and they never did anything else Ooh, okay yeah you put an end to this person because they were a player and you've already done the healing work so that's what came out of that deck so let's go on to another deck and see what comes out Really what Spirit is saying is this person is experiencing their karma and they just want you to forgive and release them. Let's see what comes out of this deck. Yeah, this person is going through an awakening. They're having a, a wake up call realization and you are divinely protected from this energy. Yeah, because the Ten of Swords, they caused you the Ten of Swords pain and now this person we have two decks, uh, the same message. This person's experiencing that pain now. Yeah, it was someone that was very cold and detached. Could be an air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, but it doesn't have to be. Um, this person didn't speak the truth, and you're the high priestess. You're highly intuitive, very connected to God. And, um, you know, this person, they weren't honest what I'm getting they weren't honest and God stepped in God stepped in yeah. and now your wishes are coming true because you released yourself from this energy now you have multiple wishes coming true okay so let's see what else let's pull from the old school deck see what comes out of this deck just fell out. 
This person that's heavy in regret is watching you. They want to communicate. They want to come forward and give you an offer. But, yeah. Okay, yeah, God stepped in. They're energetically trying to hold on to you. They were deceptive and they tried to get away with it, but God saw it and now you're in your power. Now you're in your power. Anything else? Yeah, this person has a perspective change and is trying to manifest you back into their life. But again, they took no action. They weren't accountable. They took no action. You know, they made you feel like you weren't good enough, so you cut them off. Now you seek your ten of pentacles elsewhere. You're grounded, stable, and financially secure on your own. You don't need this person. All right. Let's get the angel romance angels. Let's see what comes out of that deck. First card we got is only time will tell. This is saying just go with the flow, let things unfold the way they're supposed to. The second card, look deep within your heart and you will feel my love. My love for you is as deep as the ocean. This is a soul, a soulmate card. Um, your soulmate is in your energy. If you haven't already met them, they are energetically um, in your field. So you will be meeting them soon. The next one is friendship. Nurture the bonds of friendship within your relationship and your love life will dramatically improve. So for some of you, you may start out as friends with your soulmate that's coming in. Um, you may start out as friends, and they're saying it's real important to nurture um, the bonds of friendship because um, every relationship, you know, that is something that creates a very strong bond when you can be friends with someone as well as a romantic partner. So I'm just going to get some closing messages. Let's use this one, and then we'll end the reading. Let's see. What do we need to know in closing? Please, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels and Saints, what do we need to know in closing? And Happy Easter to everyone that celebrates Easter. I'm on a vacation and re-energizing. This is crazy. Uh, this is crazy. I'm going to get a couple more. They're just validating what all these cards said. Yeah. Look, this person's carrying a heavy burden because they know that you're divinely protected. There will be no new passion at the beginning, and they've lost their happiness, their complete emotional fulfillment. They were karmic. Now they're heavy in regret, feeling abandoned or rejected, trying to manifest you. Wanted to give you an offer, but they juggled you and you've healed. So you ended the cycle. And now you're a missed opportunity. That's what I got. Okay, guys, I love you. Have a happy Easter and an amazing weekend. Bye-bye.